Hi everyone, welcome to AI Crack channel. This is Akash Shingwar and today we'll be discussing about the detailed syllabus of VRC and DLR. So there has been a lot of noise about what kind of expectations we have for VRC and DLR and what kind of questions we can get in the upcoming years. So let's discuss the same. I won't be discussing about mathematics in this video because you know, maths is itself a very big subject and has numerous topics to be covered. So I won't be fitting that in this particular video and I'll be doing a separate video for mathematics syllabus detailed syllabus, right? So let us first discuss about VRC. So I would, I would divide VRC in three parts. The first part is RC, the second part is Parasymbol, and third by part is basically surprise. So these two things have been constant from the beginning. So RCs and Parasymbols have been constant right from the beginning of PGDB and they haven't been, they, there haven't been any significant changes except few ups and downs and difficulties, but there have been many there haven't been many significant changes in terms of difficulty and patterns of RC and parajumbles, right? So I'm expecting this to be similar in the upcoming years. And what worst can happen is they can make RC a little more, you know, difficult to read and difficult to comprehend just like cat. That is the worst thing that, that they can do. And in terms of parajumbles that they can switch from MCQ to theta, just like cat. Why I'm expecting that because in the worst case, why I'm expecting that because in many aspects, they have been shifting towards cat pattern. And earlier in CAT as well, there used to be MCQ questions, but they eventually shifted to theta in case of parasympathetic to increase difficulty. So that is the worst can happen. So basically readability and comprehension skills of RCs can be a little tougher. And uh, for parasympathetics, uh, they can shift towards theta. That is the worst case. Now the surprise two questions can be something different this time because, you know, initially in the first two, three years, they used to give uh, incorrect usage of words. Then they started giving homophones or similar sounding words. And after that, they started giving satirical fill in the blanks like recently. So probably this might be the time that they make another change in these two questions. So we cannot make a guess in these two types of questions. But uh, if if I make a random guess, then probably they might judge us on the you know paragraph summary types of questions because that also involves uh, a little bit of logical ability. So these are the kind of surprises in the worst case, which we can expect in VRC and no significant change in the regular syllabus. Now let us talk about DLR. So there have been many specific queries and questions regarding DLR syllabus. So let's clear the air for that. So we all know that DLR is divided into two parts in case of PGDB, unlike CAT. And in CAT, we just have one section DLR and they give mixed questions. But in case of PGDB, as of now, they haven't been, you know, uh, giving us mixed sets of both DI and LR. So they have been a clear bifurcation between DI and LR. Now this has become a little more tougher as compared to 2020 and earlier papers because they have started giving five questions for five charts, unlike the earlier version where they used to just give one chart and five questions. So this, this has become a more time consuming in case of LR, they have increased difficulty. So this has become more time consuming and this has become more difficult in terms of, you know, actual difficulty, not just time consuming. So what are the further changes which we can expect and what kind of syllabus we need to be prepared? So uh, as we all know that PGDB has been trying to, you know, uh, reach towards the level of CAT and pattern of CAT in both LR, in, in both DLR and VRC. So what we can expect, we can expect the merger of both these two sections in the worst case. I'm not talking that this is going to happen, but if they want to increase difficulty, so this is the thing which can happen and we can at least practice few sets, few, few merge sets uh, to be, you know, mentally prepared for such kind of surprise in the examination. This is the first kind of surprise that is the merger that can happen in the worst case. So if we do the trend analysis in case of LR sets, so what used to happen earlier in the earliest of the cases, uh, they used to give few LR questions, basically LR set questions uh, along with the statements and conclusions questions. So that was the kind of pattern they used to give earlier, but eventually they started giving one full set which, ha which, cons which consisted five questions. And those sets were primarily in the linear arrangement zone, circular arrangement zone, and distribution zone. So these are the three main topics they have asked sets in LR, uh, in LR section of the PGDB. Now, many people have been asking, what if they start asking, you know, sets in cubes, sets in games and tournaments, or maybe certain different kinds of puzzles, which people have, haven't seen just like cat. What if that happens? So for that, I'll present one data point based on my understanding of the entire education scenario. 
I gave J in 2013, and that was the first time when you know the entire paper uh, had a negative marking. So, kind of difficulty was more or less expected, but this was the kind of change which was ne- not expected that we are giving uh, negative marking in digit type questions, match the columns, and multiple correct questions. So that was a big surprise, and eventually it made the cutoff to be significantly lower at as it used to be earlier. So that was impact, and many people could not actually handle that kind of surprise, even though difficulty was more or less similar. Similarly, in case of 2017 CAT, DILR section was very very difficult, and the cutoff went extremely low in case of DILR in that particular year. Eventually, people got used to the kind of difficulty, but when whenever the first kind of change is there. in any of the examination or mainstream examination uh, such kind of you know drop in cutoff are heavily expected now talking about 2021 pg dba dlr paper was a big surprise for everyone and it was actually a little more not not little it was quite tougher as compared to earlier pg dba papers and it was not at all expected so people actually panicked and at least 85% of the people could not even solve the entire set of lr they could not find time to solve the entire set forget about solving solving it they could not find time to solve it because that kind of panic it was created during the examination so based on that uh, cut off went down so even if there is an unforeseen change uh, which no one has anticipated in in lr or di paper or vrc paper if that happens in case of pgdba that would definitely mean that cut off is going to go down by a heavy margin so that is nothing to be worried about it has happened in all the examinations whenever there is a surprise a big surprise significant surprise cut off goes down and if you are you know just going uh, if you are just writing the paper with the same mind and you're not panicking then probably you will easily clear the cut off that is a big opportunity for the people who do not panic in such kind of surprises so if there are changes i am expecting these kind of changes if there are unforeseen changes which no one has anticipated then probably the cut off will go down and nothing to be worried about that so i think that explains the my entire take on the syllabus of vrc and dilr all the best for your preparations and i also make uh, one video for the detailed mathematics syllabus with all the links in the blog right thanks for watching